I'm State Representative J.T. Wilcox. I'm the House Republican leader down in Olympia, and I'm going to use the last video that we shoot in 2021 to talk about what we're going to do in 2022. I think the stage is set for us to make a major difference in the state of Washington. First of all, we have some tragic mistakes to fix that were made by the majority party uh, back in the 2021 session. Uh, top of that list is uh, the payroll tax that uh, was supposed to pay for long-term health care. Uh, people on every side admit that this is a deeply flawed bill. In fact, the governor and the two majority caucus leaders have asked that uh, private employers not collect the tax. Uh, I'm not sure why they have to ask. We could have done a special session to uh, fix this problem, but that's where we're at. Uh, it needs to be repealed. And unfortunately, those who uh, have taken the proper steps in advance, as well as those who would be the victims of this tax are uh, going to lose to some extent uh, to this. The bill that was passed by the majority is a lose-lose. Next, uh, we have uh, a number of fixes to uh, apply to the tragic and disastrous public safety bills that were passed without a lot of input from law enforcement by the majority last year. They recognize that there are a number of improvements that need to be made. We offered amendments that would do that last year uh, after some sad and tragic lessons. I believe that the other side uh, agrees now that there are some fixes to be made and it's up to us Republicans to make sure that they go far enough so that we're actually keeping people in Washington safe. And lastly, we have to look at uh, the Washington state budget. People understand that Republicans are always here for a sustainable budget, one that respects the fact that everyone has to work hard to pay their taxes, and we want to be sure that we're using those tax dollars as efficiently as possible or return them to the people that actually earn the dollars from which they're derived. That will always be a priority for Washington State Republicans. And lastly, something that's top of mind for many, many people of every party that is, we are looking at about 700 days of emergency powers by the governor. Uh, it's true that uh, we have been through an emergency, and it's true that we had to make major adjustments. But I think many people recognize now that the legislature should be part of this process. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen next time, but we do know that uh, none of us ever expected to be governed for over 700 days by emergency proclamations from one person rather than the three branch government that we all learned about. Thanks everybody. I'll see you during the session in January.